الإضافة it means like in English if you have apostrophe s or you have of إضافة consists of two nouns okay two nouns and the meaning of إضافة is like apostrophe s or of the two nouns you have to know that the first noun in إضافة never never definite so there is no alif lam there is no possessive ending let's have an example kitab kitab ahmed kitab ahmed idafa Ahmed's book. This is the meaning of idafa. Ahmed's book. It's like this one or the book of Ahmed. The first noun in idafa, kitab, is a noun. Okay? And Ahmed is another noun. It's a name. The first noun in idafa, never, never definite. Never with alif lam, never with possessive ending like kitabi, kitabuka. Just a noun like this. Indefinite noun. The second noun can be definite. It can be a name, it can be uh, a noun, any noun. Okay, because idafa consists of two nouns. Kitab Ahmed, Ahmed's book. Maktab. Maktab. Al Mudarris. Maktab. المدرس مكتب المدرس the desk of the teacher by the way مكتب can be office also it can be a desk or office so مكتب المدرس the desk of the teacher or the office of the teacher إضافة this is a noun مكتب المدرس is another noun the first noun never definite there is no alif lam, there is no possessive ending. Maktab al mudarris. Now, let's see this exercise. Let's do it together. We have some nouns here, and we have also some nouns here. We should make idafa. Let's do it together. We have kitab, lu'ba, tawila, qissa. Huna. المطعم سندريلا الطالب الولد سندريلا is a name do you, do you know Cinderella the story of Cinderella it's very famous مشهورة مشهورة famous one of our new vocabulary okay we should match now الاسم the noun here مع الاسم هنا كتاب كتاب it should be كتاب المطعم Cinderella, الطالب, الولد. It can be الطالب أو الولد. Let's say الطالب, كتاب الطالب. لعبة المطعم, سندريلا الولد. لعبة الولد. لعبة الولد. طاولة, 